Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you something that we all should probably know and something that could potentially save someone's life someday. That something is how to take a pulse. Those of you who may watch Grey's Anatomy, you're already considered a doctor, so there's no need to really pay attention. But for those of you who don't, no worries, because today I will be going over the importance of knowing how to take a pulse, the different locations to know where to take a pulse, and lastly, I will be showing you how to take a pulse. For those of you thinking, why is it so important for me to know how to take someone's or even my own pulse? Well, consider, or well, according to UCSFHealth.org, the measuring of a pulse can provide a lot of information. A regular heartbeat lays between 50 to 90 beats per minute. But everyone is different, which may cause a differ in this something as little as your fitness levels. If your heart rate happens to be higher than 90 beats per minute, it can be a sign of tachycardia. Tachycardia is where your heartbeat goes faster than normal. This is life-threatening because it can, create, it can increase blood clots, which can lead to strokes or even sometimes a heart attack. If your pulse sits lower than 50 beats per minute, it can be a sign of bradycardia. Bradycardia is a slower heartbeat that is life-threatening because is life-threatening because <laughs> it doesn't allow your heart to pump enough oxygenated blood throughout your body. With this said, having heart problems isn't anything to joke around with. The two main places to take a pulse that may, mostly everybody knows about is the neck and the wrist. But there's many other places to take one that you may not know about, such as the temple in front of your eye, on your upper arm near your elbow, on your knee, on top of your foot, and on the inner side of your ankle, according to Penn State dot medical or Penn State Medical dot org. But today we're only going to go over the main two, which is the wrist and the neck. So officially, let's start taking a pulse. <laughs> I'm going to start with teaching you how to take a pulse on your neck. You're going to take your two fingers and you're going to go along your windpipe where you'll feel the carotid artery and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure. The easiest way to do this is to set a timer for one minute and count the beats. Next, we're going to go over the wrist. You're going to hold your wrist out like this and you're going to go alongside your thumb. You're then going to put your two fingers again on the side of the radial artery, not on top of the vein. A lot of people mistake in that. But it's going to be right on top of that, again, along with your thumb. And then you're going to, then again, put a timer for one minute and count the beats. This is beneficial to society because you could possibly save someone's life by knowing these simple steps to taking a pulse. With this information you learned today, you should know how to take a pulse the, the different types of locations where to take a pulse, and officially how to take a pulse. And remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you.